Welcome to Gilson Portal. You should have received a link to Gilson Portal along with your login credentials. A form to request access to Portal is available in the Client Tools section of gilsongraphics.com. After you log in, you'll be brought to the startup page, also known as the dashboard view. During navigation, if you need to return to the dashboard view, click in the top left and go to startup page. From the dashboard, you can upload files, view existing jobs, and also begin the approval process for jobs pending approvals. To upload a file, drag files here your customer service representative will automatically be copied and notified. If you would like to add additional email recipients, you can do so in the CC section. The subject should describe your project overall. If there are any additional comments you would like to make, you can do this here. Every file that's uploaded will receive a unique upload number. When viewing job views, you can click pretty much anywhere on the screen to expand this into a list view. From the list view, you can search, filter, and sort your jobs. To further expand the view, you can click and open the job window. On top of being able to upload files for new projects, we can also upload files to existing projects. Following the same dialog. When you upload jobs to an existing project in PDF format, it will automatically initiate a preflight. After the preflight is completed, you can view the report and download. To exit your current dashboard view, click the X in the top right corner. Pending approvals show jobs that request approval. By clicking the job, you've once again expanded the job view. From here, you can download a PDF to your computer for viewing, or you can click this icon to launch the proofing module. The proofing module can also be launched from the ready for review email you will receive. Some projects contain a few different components. Those will be listed under this pull down. In this case, we just have one. Along with various zoom and view tools, we have some trim enabled tools. You have the option to view your document at its final trim size um, or the inclusion of all the additional margins. You have the option to show a trimmed color or without, as well as your units of measurement. The eyedrop tool will display the CMYK values in any area within your image. The image details tool will show you a little information about your jobs, format, um, as well as the ability to turn on and off different separations. There is also a measure tool if you would like to measure any part of your content. If there are annotations required, you 
and circle areas, and then add a comment. You can also just add a comment. If you've changed your mind, you can delete your annotations. When you have completed the review process and would like to initiate the approval process, you have the option of approving and rejecting each individual page or a range of pages. If I am ready to approve the entire document, I click this icon and I say accept all. If I would like to leave a comment, you can do that here. The approval process has now been completed and your customer service rep will receive an email notification when the approval process is completed.